uh, put my title up there. You see it, Tim? <laughs> now, when I get done with this, you're going to realize how Negro is a great word. It's not a bad word. It's not a bad word. It is who you are. They knew who you was, and they changed your name from Negro to black. First of all, they used, they used nigger first, but it was a derivative of the Negro word. They knew who you were, and they figured out that if you keep, if, if, if y'all know, if you keep saying Negro, they'll trace it. There's a way to trace who Negroes are. Negroes are a people. It's not just a byword or something white people they came up with or something that we just call ourselves. It is not a bad word. It is not a disrespectful word. I thought it was until I researched it and found out that it is not. Now, I wanted to get that first witness in you so that you get my premise or my foundation so when I begin to go deeper and, and really give you definitive understanding that you will not know without a shadow of a doubt who you are and why you are here and what our purpose in the earth really is. Now, it's very difficult to do this because the majority of our opposition are now preachers. Preachers who have been trained in seminary by white scholars to learn the Bible a certain way. And white, the reason why we had to go to seminary, what it, was to, it was to educate us under, uh, with white thinking about the Bible. The problem is, is that the Bible was not written by white people or for white people. The white boy just told y'all, Paul and them was black. He was telling you everybody was black. The Bible is a, is a book about a black people. You got what I'm now. I know, and then you do your own research. It's not a racist thing. It's a truth thing. Now, when we when when we accepted this Christ to be white, nobody has had a problem with that. Even though all the evidence, even in the Bible itself, scriptures was telling us, but we still accepted it because we love God, right? But now that we're starting, this is an end time revelation. The Bible, uh, 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 it, uh, uh, um, an angel told Daniel, shut up the book to the end. Close it up to the end. Knowledge is going to be revealed in the end. Well, this is the knowledge that God is revealing because it's very important to know who's who. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And so now that we are trying to find out some things, we have all kinds of opposition in people, even our own people, because it's so difficult for slaves to know they was special. It was something about them. When all your life you've been told you was a slave, that's the, that might have been the most damaging of that might have done the most damage to my self-esteem that I ever had when, at the realization when I went to school that my lineage went back to slavery. And I'm seeing these white boys identifying with Christopher Columbus and identifying with Franklin and all them. And I'm sitting there like, I don't know who I am and I have no idea what else to say. And all they told me was I was a slave and that's the extent of my knowledge. That hurt my self-esteem. I saw the white boy when he found out who he was and who I was. He looked down on me at that point. And I felt low because I had no history to say to point to that I wasn't always in this condition but well, that was the white supremacist or the colonial intent to keep you from knowing who you are so you would never ever want to be more than what they told you you are so I look thug Negroes in the street are just slaves the images have come from Jewish and European people who go into the hood the same way they went and got step and fetch it and sleep and eat and, and get the worst of us and put us on TV and say, this is y'all. And they, and, and they pay our people to degrade ourselves and coon on TV. And they'll give millions of dollars to look bad and look degrading and so they, so they can put the image out there that this is who y'all are because we're trying to remove y'all so far away from who we know y'all are. That y'all God will not even recognize y'all. You got what I'm saying. So this Negro land. Is something I'm going to show you today. How much history was lied about. Come on Tim. Now this is where we start from. This is the Jewish Roman war. Now I don't, I'm not going to go all the way back. And explain to you about who we are. We, you've already heard enough teaching on that. You should know who we are. You do your own research. What I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to give you definitive understanding of how we got here. Because that's really one of the major problems is, okay, well, if we are those people, how do we get from, from Africa to here? Well, that's what I want to show you because that's where they're trying to knock us with and trying to come and say they can't be because how do we get? Well, I'm going to prove to you without a doubt the route, everything, how we got from where we got. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, 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 now I've already proven this by DNA. I gave you all the DNA 
test, you do your own test. I tell you, if you are, if you are Hebrew, your, your, your DNA is going to take you right back to Nigeria or Benin, right? And I'm going to show you why that's where it's going to show that you're from. All African Americans are going to, and, and, and Caribbean, wherever you are, if you are black in the, this hemisphere, your DNA is going to take you back to Nigeria because there was a certain place I told y'all before, they did not take the slaves all over Africa, picking all over Africa. They took them from one place. It was a name, that place had a name, and they took them from one place. And that's why the Africans turned on us. I'm going to show you that too. You're not an African. I know you want to be an African because that's all you know because you think black, because you, because you, the only place you think is black is there. What you don't know, everywhere was black before. The whole Middle East was black. Did you know Chinese people are black? We was in China before they was there. We was here. We was in, we was here before India. We was here before the white men settled this. That's what the Olmecs are down there in South America. So we, we don't do enough history. It ain't that we don't do enough. It's been kept from us. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And you say, why is this important? Because to know the Messiah, you're going to have to know who he's coming for. Yeah. Amen. See, the colonial powers had to erase who God was and then cause us to believe that Nobody is in particularly special. But even Paul says in the book of Romans, God has not cast away his people. Saying that God is, it's all Israel shall be saved. Now the problem is, I don't have time to go there, it's in Revelation 2, when the Bible says there's these, there's these false people who are calling themselves Jews but are not. But they are the synagogue of Satan. And we know they are the Zionists, the Rothschilds, them Jews over in Israel. They false. They're not real Jews. They're from Khazaria. I done said it over and over again. The point is they're living in, they, they, what, what happened was those are the people that have scrambled up all the history so nobody knows who they are and they kept us from knowing who we are. Now they couldn't kill us because the, the Most High's hand was still on us. But what they did do was erase us. They erased you. That's why you don't know Negro land. If they didn't erase you, you would know Negro land is a place. You don't know that because they erased it. Why? Because they didn't want you to know you was from somewhere. Why? Because if you trace where you're from, you're going to trace from Africa, and you're going to see the trek back to, back to Jerusalem, and then you're going to find out who you are, and it's going to point to who they are. And like Hitler said, they are bastards. They are imposters. And the reason why they got all that wealth and money and all that is because the world thinks they are those people. They think they're God's chosen people. And y'all hearing what I'm saying? So can y'all can y'all handle my premise? Now, if you want a little bit more understanding, go and look at some messages. One of them called "Who Are We?" That's a message you can get into, and that'll give you all the the foundation of this. Go to Joel chapter three. Put me on the screen, Tim. What I got? Oh, yeah. Still go to George chapter 3. The Jewish Roman War. Now, this is where the last time the true Hebrews were in Jerusalem in 70 AD. This is the last time the real Hebrews, say real, real. Hebrews were in Jerusalem. Amen. Put it on me, Tim. Now, the Hebrews that are there now are converts. They, they come from Khazaria in the Caucasus Mountains, White Mountains, in the southern hemisphere of Russia. They had a king in 700, was it AD, 70 AD, called King Bulan. He decided that they had Christians coming against his kingdom on one side. He had Muslims coming on the other side. He didn't want to be Muslim because they was called the serpent people, very wicked people. So he knew he couldn't want to be Muslim because Muslims was too strict and he didn't want to be Christians because Christians are real. So he said, we'll be Jews. He sent to Jerusalem to get rabbis, Babylonian Talmudic rabbis that came and taught them Judaism and they converted the whole country to Judaism and called themselves Jews. These are white folks that called themselves Jews. They migrated from the Caucasus Mountains down into all of Europe and then during the Second World War, uh, 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 well, the First World War, they had migrated all throughout Europe. Then in the Second World War, they had, uh, they had gotten into Germany and Poland and all that. That's when Hitler decided he's going to get rid of these people. And the whole goal was they was trying to find a homeland. Say a homeland. homeland. Well, by them calling themselves Jews, of course, they felt they had the right to Jerusalem. 
but they were not the real Jews. But so, but the Palestinians was, was living in Jerusalem at the time, which they not the true people supposed to be there either. But they more Semitic than the, than these white uh, than these white so-called Jews. You got what I'm saying? They came in to. Uh, Israel in 1948 with the with the help of the United Nations by Britain signing a Balfour Declaration to give Israel to the Palestinians. Just gave it to them to give it to the to give it to these white Jews. Without how can you give somebody? That's the same thing they did in America. We just gonna take the Indian land. That's what they did to the Palestinians. So now you don't see that. All you see on the news is these Palestinians throwing rocks and launching bombs and doing suicide. But you don't know why they're doing it. Well, somebody moved in their land, decided they're gonna take over their land with no true rights to that land. These are white people living in the hottest place in the world. They they, they have no real uh, 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 heritage in the land, but the world goes along with it because they are your bankers. They own your bank, they own our Federal Reserve, they own the Banks of London, the Roth design is Rothschild, they own everything, so you got to go along with them, they own your media, so ain't nothing you can say about it, because they are over all of that. So they allow them to get away with that. Y'all got what I'm saying? Amen. Now I want to give y'all, want to give y'all this premise, because you must understand that the falseness is what God is revealing in the last day. He's revealing who's who, and this got to be revealed in order for Christ to come. If you if this is not revealed, you're going to receive the wrong Christ. There's a Christ coming. He's going to be a Jewish Christ. He's coming. He's going to be a Jewish Christ. They got him coming. That's why they be rebuilding the temple in Jerusalem. Now, the Bible says there shouldn't be no true Hebrews in Jerusalem because the Bible says Jerusalem should be trodden down by the Gentiles to the time of the end. So it shouldn't be nobody in Jerusalem but Gentiles. So anybody over there is fake, right? Okay, so if, they're, so, so if we know they're fake, the question says, who is real? Well, let's find out the people because it's got to match. I know the people ain't disappeared. If God says he got a remnant, a remnant he's going to bring back into the land, then where are the people at? And it's very difficult for you to understand that because we are so low, so self-esteem and we are just the lowest of the low, which Deuteronomy 28 said we would be that way. We would be a byword. A byword is that word nigga. That's what everybody, has, they got nigga in every language. They call you that. In every language they call it us that because we are a byword of the nations. Why? Because you don't know who you are. Why? Because of the sins of your forefathers. Say before slavery. Okay, y'all got what I'm saying. You had Joel. Okay, now go back. Give me, give me my picture. Now this is the this is the fall of Jerusalem when Rome went in to Jerusalem for the last time, and 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 this massacred. Really, they just massacred the Jews. They was trying to genocide the Hebrews at this point, and many of the Hebrews, of course, escaped. The, this war dispersed the children of Israel once and for all, and they fled into Africa. Say Africa. Now, come on, Tim. Now the reason why they fled into Africa because they looked like Africans. They were, that's why Cush, the Cushites, or, 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 or better yet, the Hamites, uh, you know, Noah had three sons, uh, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and we know that Shem is, Shem is the Semitic line, which Christ comes from, and Ham is the, uh, is, the, is the darker races, or the Ethiopians and the Africans, where the Shemites looked like the Hamites, and they intermingled many times. That's why when Joseph then was in Egypt, they could mingle with the Egyptians because he looked like an Egyptian. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So this is, this is the first, one of the first biggest lies, is to tell you that the Bible was white. Well, the Bible wasn't white. The Bible was talking about black people. This is why our brothers in Islam and in Egyptology and the left the Bible because they think it's about white people. That's what they said. The Bible is about black folk, and it can be proven. It's been proven over and over and over again. Come on, I want to help y'all. You low self-esteem cats who can't believe God love you. I got to show you that he do love you and that he allowed us to be in this position, but he's a great merciful God. That he, that, now, if it wasn't true, if you, we are people with no army, no nation, no roots, we should have been wiped out. They wiped out the Indian. They wiped. They could. They could. They, they, they could have wiped out the Mexican. There are people that they have extinct. Colonialism extincts people. But some reason they couldn't extinct you. All there's many a tribes. There's many a, a, a countries in Africa that was extinct. Did you know that Leopold killed almost? It was. It was like a. They said it was like a hundred million. 100 million, uh, what's it, Liberians, Liberians, they killed all but 10 million. That's what these people do. They, they extinct the orig Aborigines. But for some reason, now they got a land. They got a people, they know who they are and where they from. We don't got a land, we ain't got no people that don't know who we are, where we from, but yet they can't extinct us. And they tried. That's what eugenics is. That's what abortion was for you. It wasn't for no woman's choice. It was to kill black folk. 
the goal was to sterilize you till they got out. We found out they were sterilizing us. And they sterilizing y'all now. They getting you to sterilize yourself. Cut your own tools and put these things up in you that's giving you cancer and busting up your uterus. What are they doing that for? Making fibroids in your body. Why? Because they're trying to exterminate. And then the homosexual thing is to kill your population so your men don't even have babies. It's all on the books. Just go research it. The goal is population control. The Bible says in the book of Exodus, when, when Pharaoh dealt with the children of Israel, he said we got to deal wisely, truly with them. And he said what we got to do is we're going to have to abort these kids. Stop them from breeding. Well, that's what they've done to us. Stop us from breeding. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Where we are hostile towards our own children. Mothers putting kids in microwaves and killing babies. Why? Because we are, we are war people that don't know who we are. In that mindset, let's go to Joel chapter 3. I got to show y'all this because you got to know that white scholars were not truthful about the last days because they told you Christ is coming back and he is they didn't tell you why they told you the reason why is he coming back for the righteous but they didn't tell you that he's coming back for a people Amen. and the people that then other people that receive Christ can be part of the righteous but he's coming for a people y'all gonna get this I got to mess with y'all slave Negro theology. Got to destroy that Negro theology. He's coming for a people. Now all your life you've been in church, Christ is coming back for those, for those who are good and who, who, who love the Lord. And, okay, well that means everybody. And that is true. He is coming back for those who will save, who receive Christ and who love the Lord, whatever. But the Bible says he's coming back for a people. That's the reason why Jesus, remember when the woman came, that uh, the Seraphonician woman whose daughter was sick, and Jesus said, listen, I haven't come but to the lost sheep of the tribe of Israel. He was saying, listen, who I'm coming for. That don't mean y'all can't get in on it, Gentiles, but who I'm really sent to. Now, you got to understand, if he's coming for the lost sheep, then the people over there ain't lost. The people in Jerusalem ain't lost. They say they know who they are. Who, the, lost means I don't know who I am. Now, because of the mercy of God, because he's a great God, the Seraphonician woman, even though she didn't have, have a covenant and wasn't supposed to get in on it, faith allowed her to still get part of the promise. Then the promise was to a people that rejected it which is why Deuteronomy 28 came up because we rejected it the Hebrews rejected Christ they stumbled over the stone he, he Christ Bible says he became a rock of offense he was a stumbling stone why because they were so into the law and their own righteousness that when he came to show righteousness of the spirit they got indignant and offended how dare you say you're better when we're keeping the laws of Moses, he said, you ain't doing it in your heart. Amen. Amen. Yeah, your clothes look good, but you're lusting in your heart. Amen. Well, they stoned him. They wanted to stone him for that because they thought they were righteous. Y'all there. So, they, so instead of embracing Christ, they crucified him. Which became why Rome got to come in and destroy Jerusalem and kill a lot of them and run them out of the Jerusalem and that's when the slavery that's when the journey to slavery began that's when the curses of Deuteronomy began to kick in on their life and then we're going to find out that we are living in that modern day now you got that now so first I got I don't have enough time to do this because our video took a little time can y'all handle this come on can y'all handle this I'm trying to teach you something black folk please let me teach you let me teach you don't listen don't, I don't want to titillate you or entertain you I want to teach you because I'm sorry to hearing black lives matter and you trying to tell Negroes what they don't want to hear that that's why y'all killing each other Joel chapter 3 are you there now this is this is Christ this is this is the end time this is the day of the Lord this is Armageddon this is what they tell you uh, that's coming, right? If you've ever been in church a while, they tell you this is what's coming. So this is the Armageddon. This is the end of the world, they say. This is when Christ comes, right? 
So we got to get the purpose for why Christ is coming. You got to get that or you're going to miss this whole point. Look at verse 1. For behold, in those days and that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Jer Judah or Jerusalem. Well, he's saying when I come, I'm bringing again. In other words, I'm bringing back those that was captive, Judah and Jerusalem. I'm going to bring them back. So then, okay, if, 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 if he's talking about this is the day of the Lord, right? This is the time of judgment when Christ is coming to judge the world, right? His first motive, is to, his first operation is to bring back the people that was lost, right? Bring back Judah and Jerusalem, right? Well, then if we if we if we talking about he's just coming back to say to you know just to gather everybody there's no distinction, then why are he talking about Judah and Jerusalem? Because his mission was to deal with his people. Y'all got what I'm saying? Now I will also gather all nations, bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will plead with them there for my people. Also, the, so the last day Armageddon is about God pleading. Pleading with the nations for his people that were scattered into all nations. Let it say again. Now he's coming back for the righteous. He's going to wrap you out the righteous. He's coming back for the, telling y'all, y'all going to give up my people. See his, his, his people ain't got nowhere to go. Where, do, where would we go? To Africa? Where you don't know where you're going in that. Trust me, I've been to Africa. You don't know where you're going. Trust me, you, if, you went, if they say go to Africa, you would not know where to go. And some of them don't like you. Because they co-conspirators. How you think they sold you away. I'll show you. Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove what I said. Y'all that want to be Africans. I'm going to prove. I'm going to prove this. Whole, if, 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 just stay. Just stay. You got to leave. Go. You'll miss it if you do. Look. Said, now, 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 why is Christ coming back? Pleading with the nations for what? His people. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. All right. Now, he says, come on, man. Okay. He says, uh, verse 3, and they have cast lots for my people. Listen, giving a boy for a harlot. You want to know what slavery was really about? Sex. It's about sex. Study Columbus, you'll figure it out. When you find out how perverted Columbus and them really was. Slavery was about sex. It was about sex. Perverted, Roman, beastiality sex. Where they had sex with boys too. Gave a boy for a harlot, sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what? Have ye to do with me, O Tyre? He's naming these nations. Now, I done told y'all who these nations are. These are modern nations. These European nations now. Tyre, Sidon, and all the coasts of Palestine. And, and these, are, these are them uh, Ishmaels, too. Ishmaelites. Arab nations. Because they went into Africa, too. Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your, I showed y'all the temple, what they did in Jerusalem, that's what they had done, and, and carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children, and verse 6, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the, I will raise them out of the place whether you have sold them. Nobody going to raise us. He said, I'm going to raise them Amen. where you sold them at. Amen. And we'll return your recompense. In other words, what you've done upon your own head. And then I'm going to sell your daughters and your sons into the hands of Judah. Now, why do you think the white scholars didn't tell you who you was? Because the judgment's against them. Amen. It's against Edom them that sold us. So they know in order for you to really get out of this, they're going to have to fulfill the prophecy, which is they're going to be sold. Now you see why they never told you who you are. Because the, the, way to, the only way, because there's a recompense, that means what you done going to have to be done. So all of these scholars, Schofield and Darby, these people who was, who was commentating on the Bible, Matthew Henry, these people knew the scriptures, but they understood that they could not reveal because the revelation would be the very people that we got in chains. We're going to be judged for them. So there's a go. We'll never let them know. In comes secret societies. This is what secret societies are about. I told y'all, the secret of secret societies is who are the people of God? 
That's what the secret is. They go to their death before they tell the secret. They'll destroy. What you see right now, let me tell you what's happening right now. Because the, secret, the truth is getting out, they're going to scorch the earth. That means they, before they get to you, they're going to destroy it all. They gonna, that's what they're doing now. I don't believe that pair of stuff. That's, that's false. That's all false. All that stuff's false. They're doing that stuff because, listen, I ain't got time to really get that deep. It's too deep. I ain't got enough time, and then I'll be in here for a while. I'm trying to help y'all. But let, let me, put me up here, Tim. Let me give you some more proof. This is the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. I didn't say it. I didn't write it. Somebody knew it. Zondervan Bible Dictionary. The definition of Ham. Who is Ham? Ham is the third son of Noah. Where the African races come from, right? Who they said we come from. Did they not tell us we came from Ham? That's what I heard. Well, Zondervan, for some reason, is saying Ham, perhaps, well, I can't see it over there, but is the is the the, old, the eldest son, the son of Noah, born probably about, I can't say it, before the flood, and one of the, eight, uh, one of the eight people who lived through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark race, the father, say father, father. of the dark races, not the Negroes. All Africans descended from Ham. All Africans. Put it back up there. Ethiopians, Libyans, Egyptians, Canaanites. They all descended from Ham. Now, if you are African American, you got to be one of them. But somebody's telling you not, you, not, you, you not, they daddy ain't your daddy. Why did they single out the Negro? And when you came to this country, that's what they was calling you. Somebody knew you wasn't an African. I didn't say it. I'm trying to prove it. Somebody knew we got people that ain't these people. We got people from Africa that ain't Africans. Let it sink in. Because I want to help you because I know how we just so skeptical. I don't know nothing else to do but study it. What else can we do but find the research and study it? So we try, are we not trying to study it? So we have proof saying you're not an African. Said the Nick, because Africans are now, 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 their sons of Ham was Cush, Miserum, Put. Right? right? Sons of Ham, Cush, Miserum, Put. Those are his three sons. So we know that's Egypt and what? Uh, Ethiopia and um, Egypt, Ethiopia, and Libya. There you go. Those were the three people groups. That came from Ham, the black, the, where the black races that scholars told us all these years, that's where black people came from. Every black person came from Ham. But now we're finding out, wait a minute, there's this anomaly people called Negroes. That you, you, you overlooked that because you think Negroes is just a word they was calling us when we came here. But you don't know Negroes was defining you, that's why they changed the name from Negro to black. Why did they change? Then they change it again to really screw you up and call you African American because now, because now you think you're from Africa. That's what we want you to think. We don't mind you think you're from Africa because we're at you ain't gonna never know where you're from, and, and you and it, it, that's that's just like saying you you a Scandinavian. You wouldn't matter. But if we but but if we leave the Negro title on you and y'all get a hold to these certain maps, you gonna know where you're from. Then you are gonna trace who you are. And then you're going to see who we are. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on, Tim. Now, 1771 map. This is, I'm going to show you a 1771 map of Africa. It was not called Africa. Africa came from a white Jew named Africanus. He's the one named Africa. And he went, and when he named it Africa, he went as far in Africa as Timbuktu and that's as far as he went called the whole continent Africa the same way they did America the continent of Africa had a name it ain't like we don't have no no name just I'm a name that name it and I'm a name in my name but it had a name the whole continent of Africa had a name already these maps have been erased from history because this is how they hid who you are, who we are, and they cut our history off. Literally wiped it. I'm going to show you. They literally did it. 
put me up there. Now this is the, the lower part, the, the, the west part of Africa, the horn, around the horn. Now right here where, you know, Mali, Ghana, Nigeria is in the middle, if you can see that's called Negro land. That ain't just no bad word. Negro land's a place. And in Negro land are the 12 tribes today. They still there. They're, they're, all of them ain't there, but the origins are there. Now, what I want to show you is, if you look at the bottom, I need a pointer. Got my laser pointer. But if you see the word Guinea, Guinea, y'all see that? Now, they divided this up through the Dutch, the British, uh, and uh, Denmark. Denmark, Holland, and England divided it up, and you see the different colors showing the borders of, the, of their lands. Now, where you see Guinea at, you see, I'll get up there and show you. Now, of course, this is, this is modern-day Nigeria, It'd be like uh, Cameroon, Nigeria, Benin, all that, uh, Ghana, all right, uh, Sierra Leone over here. Now, this is called the Grain Coast, right? Now, it's called the Grain Coast. I wonder why they called it the Grain Coast. Because that's where they took grain from. The Gold Coast. Because that's where they took the gold from. The Slave Coast. Because that's where they took the slaves from. Let it sink in. Let it sink in. You I got what I'm trying to say. So we got the Grain Coast. The Gold Coast, Slave Coast. Now this is, and right here, now I was here, I was just here like, I was here about five or six times. I didn't even know I was right there where we originated, where well, we didn't originate, but where we were at in Africa. In this around Lagos, Lagos, Nigeria is about right here. Now, but they, but it was, but it was called Negro Land, and this is Guinea. But the whole, but Guinea was not here first. The whole thing, Western Africa was called Negro Land. So that's why they knew when he came here, they called you Negro, because that's where you came from. Right. Now, now, the problem is, I know y'all can't see this, this is pretty far back, but right here in the Slave Coast, they, this map, this map erased something that was on the original map of 1747. It was very important, because this is, you realize, these are England, Holland, and Denmark, these are colonial powers. They had to erase something here so that you would never ever know where you came from. But on the 1747 map, put it back up right there. Mess with the people I <laughs> Look, on the 1747 map, it's something right there. You got what I'm saying? Amen. Now, because I told you I'm a teacher because see, Negroes don't get it. I heard preach on, man, we can't be no people. Man, God wouldn't do... What's wrong with it? What's wrong? I'm, I'm sure to show you. Amen. Now, 1747 original originally has the kingdom of Judah. The colonizer so purposely removed it so the Judah so the Judah's history would be erased completely, which means they wiped us off the map. So they knew these are the some of the earliest navigational maps. So they knew in order to keep you from knowing your history, if y'all ever get out of slavery and start reading, right. ain't going to be nothing for y'all to read because we've already changed it all. Wiped you off the map. Put up a chill. Now this is another map now. This is the same map, but it's just give you more understanding. You see Negro land, there's... Okay, now below, now I, I'm going to go deep into this on a different study and show you where all the tribes are and everything and show you that a lot of the Bible wasn't written in the Middle East. Right. They lied about that. Remember they said the Tower Bible, Bible was in Shinar and Shinar is in Iraq, remember? Yeah. Did y'all not know that? Yeah. They said the plains of Shinar, right? But there's no Shinar in Iraq. There's no, the Bible is not in, there's no Shinar there. Guess where it is at? It's in Africa. The majority of the Bible was written there. I can't let you know that we're colonial powers. We are colonizing the world, and we can't let black people think that they, we got. 
Okay, 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 okay. So, so y'all see this now. I pointed out with the red line, Slave Coast. Because I want y'all to see that. Now, you can't see it, but it's right here. Now, on this map, the original map, right here is the Slave Coast, right? Gold Coast, Grain Coast, right here, Slave Coast. Very, this, you see that area? This is a small area right there. Whole Africa ain't the Slave Coast. Now, I'm going to blow it up and show you. Put me up right Tim. Now, this right here, KM stands for Kingdom of Judah. This is what they took off the map. Or Weda, which is what they called us. They were changing the translations because, you know, this is, they changed it into Dutch. But then down here, it says Judah again. So right here in this little area, the slave coast, is where the slaves came from. But who was they taking? Judah. Y'all want it. Y'all don't want it. Y'all don't want it. Put it back up there. I want to see them again. Weta. And, and I'm going to show you that modern, I'm going to show you where the modern is now. You'll see it. But I want y'all to know, now this is the reason why I'm trying to show y'all the, the, the Bible's accurate. Come on, Tim. That after the persecution and war of 70 AD in Jerusalem, the Hebrews fled into Africa. Not like they didn't know where they was running at. They've been in Africa before many times. You did know the Christ went in Africa. They know about Africa. Most of the Bible was written in Africa. That's the reason. Why do you think they cut the Middle East off? And said the Middle East is not a part of Africa when it's connected by a continent. It's connected. Because they were trying to change the geography so you won't know who's who. The whole Bible is about who is who. It's a people that's imposter. I told you, they jacked us. I tried to tell y'all that. It's an imposter people that the Bible says are false. That are bringing a false messiah to a false people that will rule the world. But then there's a real people that don't know who they are that are truly lost. Mm -hmm. Even in the New Testament, Paul says Israel is blind. Mm -hmm. She don't know who she is. That's why she does the stupid stuff she do. That's why we walk with our pants sagging and we adopt every silly culture. We smoke anything they make, any drug we take it. We don't know, because we don't know that ain't our customs. That's not our history. That's not who we are. Right. Let me back up one more time. Let me, let me, let me get, it. now. So the, the blue line is the route that they took. To, to, where, where are they going at? To the ivory, they get to the coast to take your butt to that point of no return. Now, all the other people around us, these are Africans. Who you think helped them take you out of there? Wow. Wow. That's why going to Africa ain't going to help you. <laughs> because I've been in Africa and they've told me, I've heard Africans say, we sold y'all. I heard them. I heard them say we sold y'all to the Ravens. Ravens sold y'all to the uh, to the to the uh, to the Europeans. That meant they knew. And listen, this is what I'm trying to show you. For them to take that off the map, they knew exactly who they were taking. The map proved that European colonizers so knew exactly who they were taking from Africa, Judah, and Hebrews. They knew that. That's why when you first came here, they was calling you Hebos. It's a derivative of Negro and Hebrew. They knew who you was. They took a people. You got what I'm saying? Well, let's, let's go. Now, this is modern day uh, Nigeria. Y'all see Lagos? I don't know if y'all can see that. That's where I was, I was in. Like, you see Oweta? That's the same place that we was, Slave Coast, right there. Judah. They named the town after of it. And this is where, uh, 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 and this is why if you go over now, it's one of the worst places uh, in Africa right there, Lagos. It's really, really, really bad. But when I went to Nigeria, I was like, man, we, these are the only people, I, I've been all over Africa, they're the only ones look like us. We got the same mannerisms, same, I'm telling you, they're the only people. And I was all, and I kept wondering why we, why do you, you feel a, a kinship with them, but no, I didn't feel it with Uganda, I didn't feel it with South Africans or Cameroons or, or, or none of the other people, or the, but them, 
I felt it with Amen. Congolese, but those because they because they 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 all of they people. Now this is where these limber tribes and stuff are. Now 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 put this up there, so I can just give you more definitive truth. Now this is my daughter did her DNA test, and I want to show y'all this because I want to show y'all what it's going to point to. I was trying to tell y'all. Now. I do, it, I do it on this side. Now, her DNA comes back 80% 80, 80 African, which means, of course, you're from Africa. Now, the highest concentration or traces are right here. Now, what's right here? It was the slave coast, the kingdom of Judah. When you get your DNA, it's going to point you to right here. You can't teach people. That's where her DNA put it at. If you go get your DNA, it's going to put you right there. Now, that's why they're calling you African, because your DNA going to trace you there. But it was a kingdom there of non-Africans. And it's thinking, you know, truth is like a choke you, choke you. It was a kingdom there called the kingdom of Judah that was wiped off the map so that you would never know how you got See, it's very important. How did you get to America? How? Because we thought they just ran in Africa. Where did they go to the Sudan and get you? Did they go to Libya? Where did they snatch us from? We didn't know. They just made like this, went in there and grabbed us. I thought we all came from like the Ivory Coast. I didn't know where we came from. No, they went to a specific place because do you remember the white boy was saying that they were saying that there was, a, there was a bad word on us that said these people are cursed of their God. That's why they did it. So when they would sell us, they would be like, don't worry about it. They cursed. Then what did that mean? Somebody read Deuteronomy. Somebody read Deuteronomy and said these people are supposed to be slaves. And that's why they did that. Because they saw in the book that this is who y'all are. This is what y'all Bible say. And that's what we're going to do to y'all. And then they erased it out so you never know who y'all are. Now we just over here, adopting all customs. We think we're Italian, name ourselves Italian. We, we, we call ourselves the Mexican name. We don't know who we are. We adopt every culture because we are people don't know who we are. Is this too much? No. Come on, can we get taught in church? Yeah. Lord, look what time it is. Lord, I got to be done. Isaiah chapter 11. Come on, do we got to get saved every week? I'm trying to save our nation. <laughs> That saved the whole nation of us. Look at this. Isaiah 11 and 10. Are you there? And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign or sign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover. The, when was the first time? The second, he's going he to do something again that he did the first, once before. Recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. That means all over the world. Amen. The only time he done that was in Egypt. Amen. When they were in Egypt the first time. Amen. That he gathered them out of Egypt. He said, I'm going to do that again. Yeah. Why ain't they telling us this? There's a people that's going to be gathered. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcast, the outcast, the outcast of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. There are 12 tribes, but the tribe that was dispersed the furthest, or which is the Judah tribe, which is who you are. Judah is the praisers. That's why they love your music. That's why they copy your style. That's why we, if we sing about a pop bottle, they'll put it on a video, make a video out of it. Yes, yes. Judah are the praisers. Amen. Yet they take, yet they are merchandising us and won't let you know who you are. Right. Which tell you the other nations know who you are. Right. Y'all don't want to get with this. I know it's hard. It's difficult. It's difficult. It says, so Judah is dispersed to the four corners of the earth. What is God going to do? Bring them back. Now, read on your own Deuteronomy chapter, 50, uh, chapter 28. 
He already read some of it to identify you even more. So this should be sort of easy. So what I'm trying to tell you, you got to study. I ain't talking about nothing that ain't right there on the internet. Study. Study. Because God is doing this. It's happening. This knowledge is being revealed. Now what you must understand is that Christ is still the only Savior. Amen. But what you must understand is you are a descendant of Christ. Amen. Amen. I know it's hard. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, because, you know, we just, no, no, you are a descendant of Christ. Christ comes from your lineage. Amen. Christ is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He comes from Judah. And that's the reason why Judah probably was dispersed. That's why they took them people out of Africa and brought us all the way over here and, just, and cut you off. Now, they couldn't kill you. They tried to do it, but they couldn't. So the best, if I can't kill you, then I'll confuse you. So you'll never know who you are. And that's why we are in everybody else's religion. Bible says, in Deuteronomy, it says you're going to go to a land, gods you don't even know, worshiping brick and stone and wood. Worshiping that wooden cross, Catholic. And worshiping that uh, uh, stone, cobblestone of the Muslims. We in, we in religions ain't even ours. Why? Because you don't know who you are. But when you understand that Christ is so glorious. Last scripture, I'm done. I'm, uh, last scripture. Can y'all handle one more scripture? Go to Romans. I'm going to close on this. Did you learn anything? Now remember, study it for yourself. Don't, 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 don't just take my word for it. Now, 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 now be careful uh, when you get this type of teaching. I'm not talking about you be out there on the street corner screaming and hollering. That ain't what I'm talking about. Amen. Because you still got to be in Christ. It's really about Christ. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Look at, verse, look at verse chapter 11. Chapter 11. And remember I taught this a little bit back when they said in Christ there's neither Greek nor Jew. Yes. In other words, they say don't worry about ethnicity. That's what they say. Especially white people. Don't worry about ethnicity. No, it ain't about that. Be right. Is that what they say? Because now once you receive Christ, we all the same, right? But I just showed y'all, Joel, that he's talking about, no, I'm coming back for my people. Well then, well, well, then now in Christ, I guess we shouldn't even worry about who's who because everybody's saved and we just need to. No, but that's not what the Bible say. Read the Bible. Look at, verse, look at chapter 11 of Romans. Are y'all there? He says, I say then, verse 1, I say then had God cast away his people. So, God, so right here in, in Romans, Paul's talking about a people. You got that? God has a people. Say, God has a people. people. Now, he ain't talking about those that receive Christ. He's talking about a original bloodline. God forbid, for I am an Israelite. He's, Paul's identifying himself. I'm an Israelite of the seed of Benjamin, of the, of, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul said, I know who I am. God had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. He foreknew you. What? Ye not what the scripture said of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, have we get, jump down. Five, even so then at this present time, uh, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. If by grace, then there's no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace, but it is be, but it be of works. How are you here? Grace. God favored you to keep you alive. He favored you to stay here. To do what? To receive Christ. Amen. Say to receive Christ. That's why you had to receive Christ first. Before you knew who you was. Because if you receive who you are before you know Christ. You won't go on to Christ. Because you'll just be, you just have too much pride about who you are. That's what they out on the street corner doing. Them Hebrew Israelites out there. They, they stuck on who they are. And don't know because they haven't received Christ. But he kept us here long enough to receive Christ. So now, when we, now that we receive Christ. This revelation of who you are goes right along with it. It ain't, no, it ain't, ain't nothing new, ain't nothing extraordinary to us. Because we know we're not saved by the flesh, but we're saved by grace. Amen. What then? Israel had not obtained that which she seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and rest were blinded, 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 blinded. Y'all got that? Jump down, verse 9. And David said, let her, no, jump down again. Let me keep going. Let me try to get out of this. It says, uh, verse 11, I say, then have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, through the, whose fall? Our fall. What happened through our fall? 
Salvation came to the Gentiles. People who weren't supposed to get it got it because we rejected it. So they, that's why they owe you gratitude. But you have become the byword of the nations. But they owe you gratitude because the, he came to his own. That's why how you going to deny there's a people he's talking about. There's a people he's talking about. Y y uh, look, now if I, now, now listen, if, now if, now he says, listen, I say then have they stumbled that they should fall, God forbid, but rather through their false salvations come up to the Gentiles. Why, why? For to provoke them to jealousy. To provoke you to jealousy. So you realize these Gentiles are flowing in a blessing that was meant for you. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, if the fall of us be the riches of the world and the diminishing of the riches of the Gentiles, how much more to afford it? He said that when we come into who we are, how great is the world going to be then? For I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office, if by any means I may provoke to emulation, then which are my flesh. He said, I'm talking to you Gentiles because I'm trying to provoke those that are of my flesh. I'm talking to you Gentiles because I'm trying to get my, the people, my people to be jealous that God is blessing y'all and not them. And this is how, by our jealousy, how we got in on the gospel. Because Hebrews do not believe by faith. That's the problem. We didn't mix it with faith. So in order for us to be saved now, we got to believe by faith. So I'm telling y'all that to give you an understanding. I'm tired of hearing this black lives and all this stuff. And nobody wants to know why. The problem is they are preparing a counter move for us that y'all don't realize is happening. And the goal is going to be to lock down black folk because they are putting violence on us. That we are the only violent. And they know that's not true because who killed them people in Paris? Mighty funny, Paris got strict gun laws. The strictest gun. Matter of fact, did you know Chicago got the strictest gun laws? So if they take your guns away, who's going to have the guns? Those who don't care about the law. But the goal is to, now, 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 and I'm going to do another teaching on this to give y'all an understanding of what the New World Order and all that stuff is about. See, Freemasonry is these secret societies, skull and bones, all of that. These are elite white groups that know who you are, that stole your history. They took the Egyptians' religion, and, they, and the Jews took your heritage. The Europeans took the Egyptian religion. It's called Freemasonry. And that's why they try to wipe Egypt out. Why do you think they shot the noses off the staff? They was trying to wipe out Egypt, but Egypt had too much evidence. That's why the Bible says the earth was going to testify. See, the earth had to testify because they was trying to totally wipe out all blacks so you would never know who was who. But they couldn't wipe out Egypt. How are you going to take all these big statues and take and all the hieroglyphs? They, had? they couldn't. They, 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 even now, they won't even say the Egyptians are black. Why? Because if the Egyptians are black, then you're going to put two and two together. But how did Moses stay in the house of a white man? How was Moses a white man living, with white, living in the house of, of, of black folk when they was trying to kill white people? Pharaoh was killing white people, so how is Moses going to live right? Because Moses was black. Well, that's why they got to erase the Egyptians, to make you think they were white. Because you, you would have found out a long time ago who you were. Do you got what I'm saying? So, that's so, 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 so the religions that are going forth are these Freemason, it's Freemasonry, which is really just witchcraft, but, but basically that's what Egyptians were operating in, and that's what the knowledge that these elitists have now. Now the Europeans have the Freemasonry, but the, but the Zionists have Judaism or Talmudism. All of that was stolen from black folk. And they're covering it up. And so what's going on is, the goal is, they know this God we serve is real. They know the God of the Bible. Don't think people, they're not atheists. They know God. They know there's a real God. Because they know they could have, should have killed you by now. You shouldn't be here. Everything they do to us, they come back on that race. It was proven they put crack in our community. We proved it. Heroin is destroying them. Heroin is killing their kids. Now they're talking about treatment. But when it was cracked, they was talking about criminalized prison. 
But now the heroin is literally killing white. Y'all don't understand how bad this is. They underreported. It is killing them. And now they're talking about treatment. But when, see, what they did to us, it comes back. It comes back. They made eugenics for abortion was for us. Then they end up aborting their kids. See, see, because there's, 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 there's a God fighting for us. They know that. They know it. And so the end times is about these, what we call Illuminati or elite people that serve Lucifer. The Bible says, the, uh, I ain't got time to tell you. The Bible says, uh, uh, I ain't got time to tell you. The Bible says in the book of Revelations that it was, it was talking spiritual. There was a dragon. A woman was having birth in heaven. And she was birthing a child. There was a dragon right there ready to devour the child as it came out. But when the child came out, the child was caught up to heaven. And the woman ran into the wilderness. The dragon could get neither one of them. So he went off to make war with her offspring. So that dragon is the Zionist Rothschild, which their name is Serpent People. That's going, that's fighting the seed. That's the real bloodline seed of Christ. In the earth realm. And they went through every land, every land trying to destroy the remnant. That's what they doing, trying to destroy the remnant. And so this is why I try to tell you it's all about you. You don't realize it, but they know it. That's why, why are you so important? Why are you on TV all the time? Why are you so important? Why is everything you're doing, why is it so important? Because they know who you are. And they come to fight against your God. And so the last days about how they making these, uh, uh, these, these the, the, the revelations with all of the, the plagues and stuff, those plagues are coming on them. For what? I'm pleading with y'all for my people. Y'all gonna give me my people? Same plagues of Egypt are happening now. It's, except it's not in a, one location. It's all over the world. But think about this. It's mainly happening in European nations. It's mainly happening in white nations. Why? Because that's Tyre, Sidon. These are the people that actually took God's people and scattered them. Now everybody can be saved if they believe on the name of Christ. White folk, black folk. But before this is all over, they're going to have to acknowledge. Because what's going to happen when the black Christ show up? I know it's hard for some of y'all to believe it. It was in Revelation. It told us what color is burnt brass. What color is burnt brass? My color. That's what burnt brass look like. When old burnt brass look, the Bible says his color is burnt brass. That's what it looked like. If it was white, they would say white. They would say it actually probably more like red or pale. This is burnt brass. Burnt brass is the cut of Adam. What's the color of Adam? Earth. Earth. God's creation is earth tone. Different shades of earth. The white boy told you what leprosy was. I try to tell y'all. What did he say leprosy was? White skin. They know what leprosy is. They changed leprosy to mean the, the limbs ate off. That's what they changed it to. But really leprosy was white skin. Y'all want to deal with this. Y'all want to deal with this. That's why while we try to change ourselves and switch it ourselves up, we are the original people. I'm trying to show y'all that. Now, I'm not getting pride in that, but, 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 but when my Christ comes, the Bible says we're going to be like him, so he's like us. So what shot? Now, I remember this years ago. I'm done. I'm done. I got clothes. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I remember this years ago, we was at a white church. I'll never forget this. We was at a white church. This lady was a real prophet. She was a powerful white lady. And I never know. And this was, I was years ago before I even, even did a lot of research and studying. And she was really powerful, and she said, the church was a white church, full of white people. She said, many of y'all going to be shocked when y'all see what he looked like. She said, he is not who y'all think he is. She said, it was a long time ago. She said, y'all, and she said, y'all racist? Y'all going to be shocked when y'all see who he, who he, who, what he looked like. See, they know who he is. And so white supremacy is not just to fight against you. White supremacy is fighting against him. Yes, it it's against Christ. Yes, it because white folks descended from Esau. I ain't got time to even get into that. They are descendants of Esau or Edom. Yeah. They were white folk. They, Edom, Esau, 
said to the most high, you're going to tear it down, but we're going to rebuild it. So they said, we're going to build, they ought, they, we're going to build our own. Now, see, if you really understand the Tower of Babel, even though that was built by black folk, the goal of the Tower of Babel was to get into heaven. To do what? They thought they was going to attack the most high. The Tower of Babel is in Africa. It ain't, in, it ain't in Iraq. It's in Africa. And it's exactly at the place where... I ain't got time to get into that. That's too, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. But, but there's a place in Africa that is the gate of God. It's the same place Jacob laid his head on the stone when he said they, uh, they was descending. It's the Renzori Mountains that no man can seem to get to the top of. It's a, I, I'm going to go deep on this. It's teaching. But I wanted to help y'all to get y'all to understand that it's... Rep, the, the, if the knowledge got to be revealed, it's all got, the truth has to be revealed. And so most of what we believe is going to be transformed because we were lied to about geography and ethnicity. So if I take away the, the map and I take away the people groups, then I'm going to tell you who you are. And I'm going to tell you who I am. And that's why I only told you about Napoleon. I didn't tell you about King David II that ruled in Africa in the 12th century that was so powerful that uh, yeah, he, was the, he was the last descendant of the true King David. In the 12th century, he was in Africa. Had one of the greatest kingdoms that they didn't even tell you nothing about. I can put it, I can put that map up and show you where he was. He wrote a letter to the Romans at the time telling them how rich and powerful he was. He said, we said, man, we, our kingdom is so vast, we got a kingdom of man eaters. Yeah, we, we so tough, we got a kingdom, these people eat flesh. Say, so you know what their name is? Gog and Magog. Find out who that is. Who's Gog and Magog? Them white people! I'm trying to tell y'all, this stuff is, y'all ain't ready, y'all ain't, ain't ready, y'all ain't ready, I'm done. Set on your feet. I ain't trying to get you saved, I'm trying to get your knowledge today. Trying to get your knowledge today. I'm going to follow this message up Wednesday to take y'all deep into this teaching. I'm trying to show you. The whole goal is for you to study. To realize why we are so, seem to be so cursed but so blessed. Everything we do, they follow, they copy. But we can't get nothing. Don't own a bank. Don't even own a store. Why? Curse of Deuteronomy 28. Why? We disobey God. We disobey God. We live how we want to live. Even now though we go to church, we still live how we want to live. We still don't keep law, God's laws and commandments even though we're in church. We still live according to our own life. The Bible tells us what to do. We live how we want to live and so we're living under the curses. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even though you get up and get you a little money on your feet, you or your generation get something but the next one will have nothing. Why? Because it, the curse is going to keep repeating itself. Until the nation rises and take on who we are and begin to walk in who we are in Christ. Amen. Say amen. amen. How many of y'all know we won't be killing each other if we know who we are? Amen. You really would be my brother. Amen. You understanding what I'm saying? If I knew we came from Negro land. Which I've told you, I didn't tell y'all about the city that we, it, it, everybody ain't going to Jerusalem. There are some places. They divided the land, Negro land too. You do know they divided up Africa. See, most of the Bible was written in Africa. It's a, it's, it's, I can't. What, what's hard for us to realize is if I conquer you and I'm in power, you can't believe I'm as wicked as I am to erase everything to make you know anything. You, you believe me when I told you that I told you the truth. You believe me when I preached to you and I told you this is the word of God. You came to my seminar and believed the interpretation I gave you was real. Because I trained you not to believe I'm as wicked as I am. Because I erased all of what I've done. But as we begin, and that's why these brothers get so radicalized. Because they start scratching and seeing and wait a minute. And then they get mad and then they go into Black Pantherism and get crazy and so hating folk. But the reason why is because the lies. And the problem is. If your enemy teach you, then he ain't never got to fight you. He just taught you. He know what you think because he gave it to you to think. He know how you act. 
That's why he capitalized off of y'all. That's, that's, why, that's why they make money off of us. They know exactly what they want y'all to think. We have billions of dollars come through the black community. And did you know a dollar stays in the black community six hours? Jewish community, weeks. Dollars flip, stay in the community. Six hours, it's gone. You know why? Because when you take the dollar out of your pocket, you're going to go to the store. Down at the store, they don't live around. No store going to live in your community. They ain't put no money back in this. Everything we buy is from other people. And for some reason, when we try to go and get those things to sell, they regulate it and we got to register and licenses. And Y'all ain't never figured out why they make it like that? These other people come over and got to pay taxes. They can get away with all kinds of stuff. You wonder why they got stores? Because they don't, they don't put them through nothing. They go get a loan. Why is it? Because there is a conscious decision to keep this Negro down. And the Bible says that, listen, remember I said the Bible says, I'm going to raise them. Ain't nobody. Remember Deuteronomy says they're going to be sold and no man is going to buy them. Nobody going to get them out. So God said, I'm going to raise them myself. Right in the land that they, they were sold in, I'm going to raise them. But how? By what I'm doing now. Trying to break this Bible down, tell you who Christ really is. Yeah, if, you heard, if you heard racism and what I... I feel like my spirit is just like that white dude. I didn't hear no racism in his heart. I feel like he was censored. Because for him to admit that is humbling. You got to realize for him. I told you he's a country dude. For him to admit that was humbling. And my heart is the same way. I'm telling you for truth's sake. I want to be saved. And I know unless we get this truth revealed, we're going to keep on burying. Keep on dying. Keep repeating the curse. Keep having babies and no daddies and baby mamas and getting the system rich and but until we understand that if we don't understand the laws of God and quit going to church but live the Bible, Amen. that that's why we perishing. People in church, kids are dying. That's an oxymoron. You, you should not be in church. Your child is out there getting killed. You in church. You should have enough word in you passing down to that generation. But we don't take God's word seriously, so our children don't take it seriously, so they don't live the word, so they go right out in the streets and get destroyed. But we don't take these commandments seriously. So I'm telling you today, lift your hands up. This is not racial. I'm not preaching some cultish doctrine. I, can show you, I showed you in the Bible. I gave you proof. I gave you another. Somebody else told you. Gave you, put it on the map, facts. I don't know what else to tell you. That until you begin to realize that you were placed here for a purpose, your purpose ain't to be some man's plaything. Your purpose ain't to be some, some, some target practice for the police. It ain't to be some jail bait in prison. But you are supposed to be a son of the Most High, a king and a priest, pointing people to the way of the Lord. That is the goal of the Hebrews. That's why God created his people. He told Abraham that he would tell them about the covenant of God. That's the goal. That's, the, that's your job. All nations were supposed to learn about God from the Hebrews, but they rejected Christ. And so right now, God is not going to stop his original purpose because in Revelations, when Christ comes, he gathers the Hebrews. He gathers those 12 tribes. Why do you think the, the 12 sons are sitting on the throne of God with God. Those 12 Hebrew boys are sitting on the throne with God. Why? That's how important the tribes are. They, they make you think they're not important, but they are important. And what, what are we going to do? Rule and reign with Christ. That's the original purpose. Rulership of the world again. The Bible says Christ is going to come and set up his kingdom. and He's going to rule, and we're going to rule with him. That's the original purpose of the Hebrews. And so we are living way beneath our purpose because we've been trained by a people who is trying to show the worst of you. And we believe that's who we are. And I say the devil is a lie. Amen. I tell my sons every day that's not who y'all are. You're not no Lil Wayne and you're not no Lil Jeezy and you, you're not no Drake. You're none of that. You ain't no baby daddy. You ain't none of that. You ain't no thug or none of that. You're a man of God. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, son, play for me. Come on, lift your hands up to the Lord.
Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning for your, your truth, your information, your understanding. The interest of your word brings light. Thank you for the light that we have received this morning. You have transformed many of our minds this morning. And to some of us, you have provoked us to study. Good preaching should provoke us to seek the scripture. So thank you for provoking us. Father, let us get this truth in our heart. Let us not just hear it from the preacher, but let us really have that revelation in our heart. Because you are soon to come, and we need to wake up everybody, not just, not just the tribes, but everybody should be woken up, that Christ is coming. I thank you for your word. In Jesus' name. Now I want to make sure everybody has received Christ. If you want to receive Christ, just pray this prayer after me. If you want to receive Christ, We'll say it together so nobody feels left out. You're receiving your big brother Jesus. He is your brother. You are urged with Christ by his sacrifice. And that's how you got in on the covenant with Abraham. By Christ Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you now. I know I'm a sinner. And I've sinned against you. I've done so much wrong. I couldn't name it all. But I ask you right now to forgive me, to cleanse me, to come into my heart. Save my soul. Let your blood wash away all my sins. I confess all my sins to you right now. Make me clean. Renew me in Jesus' name. I receive your salvation now. Amen. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.